Just a pilot in his cockpit seated Black leather on his ass, keep a hustler heated Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Man, it's bright out here. So, we have a beautiful day. No more rain, at least for now. The clouds are looking a little, uh, yeah, not too bad. Nice day though. At least a lot nicer than it's been. So everybody should be happy to know I have been um, cleaning up in here. And it's just a matter of time before I'm able to fit an actual uh, car in here, so we're on it. I'm sure you can tell by the title that I'm going to put on this, but let's uh, go ahead and try a cold start. Yeah, so the battery's dead. Which is what I wanted to talk about. Oh, God. See, it goes into this uh, mode. I'm not sure you can see that, but it's like trying to turn on the car. But it can't. Uh, so obviously the battery's dead. But luckily... Oh, come on, get enough power to pop the trunk, please. Let me try it with the remote. Come on, you can do it. But uh, of course... Uh, the genius of me put the jump starter pack in the trunk, which I can't get open. Wow. All right, we're charging. And if that'll give me enough to open the trunk, then maybe I can If you can see it start trying to operate the door popper, but then it fails. Or the trunk popper. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna let this charge because I wanted to turn on the car to do to discuss this, but whatever. Alright. We'll talk about it out here. Okay, so clearly my situation with the battery is caused by mostly me just not driving the car. Um, I do like to charge stuff in it. And um, I'm sure that's a factor as well. Uh, I charge like batteries and stuff for my, my camera. Um, when I was working, I would bring my car, my computer in there and hook it up to the uh, inverter every once in a while. Obviously this has all killed my battery and I'm pretty sure that it's, it's the problem right now is because it discharged so low. And as you know, with um, lead acid batteries, you discharge them below, I think six volts. They're pretty much garbage. So. If you have it actually die to the level that mine did before where like nothing would work then you're pretty much screwed and you have to buy a new battery but with that being said there are um there's some other options in battery that i want to explore and the main reason for this and that's going to be a lithium battery um that's going to be a myth lithium main driving battery and the main reason for that is i was uh checking out the black view i tried to print some of this out so i could go over it but i didn't print all that Great, so the Blackview Power Magic Ultra Battery. Um, Blackview has a, a cool, I don't even know what to call it, but like a remote feature that I saw where you can um, actually like activate the cameras remotely and it's part of its parking system. And it can record all the time and send data all the time. And to do that, of course, it needs an active internet connection and it needs to be powered up. So it has these little batteries, which are, are kind of cool. Um, this holds um, 6,000 milliamp, 6,600 milliamp hours, and that is 12 volt milliamp hours. So don't compare it to your, um, you know, handheld uh, device 
um, whatever that thing is, is like a little power bank because it's different. This one's actual 12 volt. Um, and it supplies 12 volt for, to the Blackview, which doesn't run off of USB, so it doesn't run off of um, 3.7 volts or whatever, like my little cheap dash cam here does. So this is actually a decent battery pack. It's um, LiPo 4, Li LiPo 4, Li LiPo 4. I don't know the different lithium te terminologies or how to pronounce them, at least. But um, it should be heat tolerant to um, up to 170 degrees or something like that. So it's, it's actually a, a battery pack that can stay in the car long term. It's not going to be impacted by the heat. If you were to try to take one of your little battery packs and plug it in, that would be somewhat dangerous. Uh, I've had a lithium 18650 uh, blow up on me before and it was uh, super scary. So playing around with lithium batteries isn't really something that I like to do anymore as far as like doing uh, sketch stuff, two sketches stuff at least. So, um, so the problem with this thing is it can it can last about a day. Let me get to the specs. Um, so yeah, it'll charge it for about it'll it'll give it about 24 hours of um, power, 28 hours with a single channel and 20 hours with dual channel. Obviously, I want to upgrade to a Blackview. Uh, everybody was telling me to get one when I when I got my Vava dash cam. And I was like, yeah, the Blackview cost a fortune, but I actually researched it and looked into it, and the Blackview is awesome. I see why everybody was saying to get it, because it actually works really well. So, um, yeah, this, bat this battery thing charges it for about 24 hours, and it needs about 40 minutes uh, to charge up, and that's assuming that it's hardwired into probably the battery or, or into a, a dedicated system, and that provides about 9 amps of power and powers up this thing over 40 minutes. I probably, I mean, I definitely don't drive my car 40, 40 minutes every, every day. I mean, not on average. Uh, you know, some days I'll drive it far more than that. Some days I'll drive it far less. So on average, I don't drive the car 40 minutes a day. So my, my dreams of 24 hour recording with this thing are doomed unless you get one of the extra batteries and they have additional batteries that you can daisy chain like such. Now this thing is cool, it comes with like a Bluetooth battery monitor thing, but you know, for me, you know, for, for 24 hours, $300, which is what this thing costs, that's just expensive. And if you wanna be able to go for eight hours then you're gonna have to be able to charge it for 80 minutes and then you can go two days. Still not that much time. Like it's great if you drive the car continually, but if you don't, it's not good. Which brings me to the lithium solution again. Now I already need a new battery for this car. As you can see it's dead, which is kind of what prompted this. Along with the black view, when I was looking at this I was like, oh man, that's, that's terrible, uh, the price. I mean, I'm not dogging black view because I think this is a good, a good setup. It's just expensive for what it is and I feel like I can build something that's better or create a solution that's better. So the options are gonna be to get a, um, a big 12 volt lithium battery and they have ones that are made for cars. I'll link to them below. And this is where I'm having like, I'm having a really hard time because there's just so many and I don't know the exact cranking apps, amps required on this car. And I don't, and that's the big problem with lithiums is it's great for like deep cycle applications and stuff where you need power for a long time over a long period. But when starting a car, they just don't seem to be able to put, push out the big amperage initially unless you go with the bigger and more expensive option, which is what I'm going to have to do. But the goal is, since it's going to be charged off of the alternator and not off of like a second wire, it's going to have the full alternator power. So it should charge up, you know, when the voltage drops, it should charge up a hell of a lot quicker than this, uh, this little guy does, which just charges on 9 amps. The battery can take a lot more than 9 amps, so it will charge faster. So, um, let's say I got a 70 amp hour battery. This thing is uh, six milliamps, which is six amps at 12 volts. So, you know, like let's say I got a, a 50, 75, 70 um, amp hour lithium battery. I should have, you know, six, 12, 18 to spare before it would go down below 12 volts, probably a lot more than that. So it should be able to run it for a very long time 
um, if it you, you know essentially six amps per 24 hours it should be able to run it for like several days without um, dropping the voltage so much that it that the car won't start and now there's a few options on how to do this um, you can either just put a big battery and then um, tie this in using like Blackview sells a little device that uh, will turn off the black view when it reaches 12 volts just to make sure the car has plenty of power to continue running so either that or there's other options like other people sell different items that can do that um, there's also a two battery setup so i can go with a either a normal battery and then just run a different battery in the trunk to power the black view which i don't really like i just like having just one one battery that's gonna power everything so that's that's kind of the, the goal um, to get a lithium battery I want something between you know 60 and 100 amp hour which is huge and I know it's gonna be expensive probably you know north of a thousand bucks maybe 1300 I'm, I'm hoping to keep it around that price but um, given that this Blackview thing is 300 and I need a new battery anyway so I need to buy another battery which is gonna cost like two or three hundred dollars and then so I'd have to get one of these things if I want to go with that sweet Blackview setup this thing's 300 bucks so I would need two of them if I want to do 48 hours so I feel like I the price is somewhat justified that I'm getting value um, because I can run my Blackview from it and I can also like charge my accessories that I like to do and kill my battery more effectively so that's kind of the plan. Um, obviously, I'm still researching the batteries and it's super, super difficult to find a, a good solution. So if anyone knows anything, I'll link down to some of the batteries I'm considering. Um, but I do want to do some testing on this car to check the, uh, the cranking amps to see what it actually is. I'm not too, too worried about low temperatures. The lowest it gets here is like, you know, 20, 30 degrees. I would like to, you know, have some flexibility if I want to go lower than that, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, if I know I'm going to be somewhere super cold, I can just bring the jump pack or something like that. It's like not not the end of the world. I live in Houston. Like cold is not not our concern. So yeah, I'm going to link to the batteries below. Um, you guys, let me know what you think. Uh, which which ones, or if you, this is a stupid idea, hopefully someone who knows more about electrical stuff can um, can chime in and, and maybe help me out. But I'm looking to get this right away because this thing needs a battery now. And um, yeah, so I need a battery now and I want to do this now. So why not get the battery that I need now rather than just get something and and then not use it or whatever. So I don't know. That's the idea. I mean, this is still from when I went to the track. I just don't drive to the car very much, especially now with me not working. And when I do need to work, I usually have to transport stuff and that is better for it anyway. So this is more now like my weekend car or whatever car. And I also wanted to mention the other good thing about the lithiums is they don't have that the discharge rate when they're they're sitting still like they, they only do like three percent a month. I mean, you know, from having a phone or anything else that uses lithium batteries, you turn it on after a month or even a year and it still has power and um, lead acids aren't like that. You they quickly drop the voltage after like even a month. Um, usually you can't start the car. Sometimes you can. It just depends on how good the battery was. But. That's another thing with the lithium. You don't have to worry about that as much. They hold their charge a lot better and they charge up faster. From what I understand, the lead acids, a lot of the energy goes into heat or something. I'm not gonna pretend I, I know what I'm talking about, but the lithiums supposedly charge faster. The exact chemistry and reason why, I don't completely understand, but I, I do know enough to know that it's true that they do charge quicker. So it should be perfect for my application that I'm looking for here for the black view and just for the car in general it's gonna be expensive but um whatever it's cool and cool beats expensive any day because what's the point of cheap when it's not cool so let me know what you guys think peace Escalate the gauges, escalate hits on the cam girl.